with uh, my friend Earl here, uh, uh, who uh, didn't know I was coming until yesterday. With it. It's a kind of a nice story, um, and there's a Springsteen reference to it as well. Um, but uh, ten years ago, tomorrow, I've just been told, I was uh, hiking in uh, Canmore in uh, Alberta with a friend, and uh, we were sort of walking along and um, came across four brothers out on a 40th birthday outing, which is why he knows it's 10 years tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, the person I was with was promoting a concert for me in, uh, in Camel that night. I was keen to get people to come along. So uh, I think, I know, did you ask me to take your photograph or you took? Uh, I can't remember what the story was exactly, <laughs> but uh, we stopped and we started talking. She said, you should come and hear this guy sing. And I'm thinking, oh, no, 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 no. And he said, really, what's this like? And she said, oh, he's like Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> And they, and they said, well, will you play Thunder Road? And I said, oh, okay, I'll, I'll do it. And uh, sure enough, they came that night. Well, we've been friends ever since. They're, they're, they're scattered across the place. When I play in Toronto, the brothers come out. And uh, I had no idea that Earl was coming out. And he's here tonight. And they just told me that it was 10 years tomorrow that we all first met. So it's kind of a, a nice little uh, Nice little thing there. So uh, in honor of that, I'll do a Bruce song. <laughs> I've always thrown in the odd Bruce cover. I, I, I found myself, um, I recorded a few, and, and slightly reluctantly, but I, I found myself on something called E Street Radio just, uh, um, I don't know, about 18 months ago. The guy called Dave Marsh, who's married to Barbara Carr, who's uh, one of Bruce's managers, along with John Landau. And Dave is a personal friend of Bruce, goes out to dinner with him maybe once a month, and has written two biographies on him. And he's also a, a steam rock journalist. Um, he, uh, he was editor of Rolling Stone magazine for 15 years and he's written biographies and all sorts of people. But um, so, you know, kind of in the camp, as it were. And uh, he's, he's a difficult interview, too. Like Sunday morning, you're half awake. And this is going around the world with that satellite uh, digital thing. And his first question was like, Tell me back in Britain where you come from, the, uh, the folk revival of the 60s, how did that relate to what Woody Guthrie did parallel here in the 40s and 50s? On the, <laughs> the, the parenthesis of the whole equation of what folk music might be. Well, uh, you know, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> so, uh, but it went fine, and anyway, uh, he was then spinning a CD, and um, he just turned to me out of the blue, said, by the way, he said, you, your covers of Bruce's work are very well thought of within the camp. <laughs> so I tried not, yeah, I just, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he also said, you know, if, if you ever want to record a whole album of his songs, I'd be happy to write the sleeve notes. So I just stayed cool and thought, no, that doesn't interest me. And I, I went home the next day, flew back and recorded 17 Bruce Springsteen songs. <laughs> in, in, in three days. And uh, all acoustic, and it's an album called Tires Rushing By In The Rain. I did the show in London, I did, the, uh, I did all 17 tracks, and we, we had, we had so many people came to this gig. and. Uh, about 500 people, whatever it was, and all over Europe people came. And I, there's three guys from Belgium now who follow me around everywhere. They're <laughs> probably out there somewhere. Right? <laughs> but uh, anyway, anyway, a little bit of Bruce. Anyway, hope this, uh, hope this does it. <laughs> Going someplace and there's no more going back. Highway patrol chopper coming up over the ridge. Hot soup on a campfire under the bridge. Shelter line stretching round the corner. Hey, welcome to the new world order. Family sleeping in the cars in the south wind With no home, no job, no peace, no rest The highway is a light tonight Ain't nobody kidding nobody about where it goes Sitting down here in the campfire light Waiting on the ghost of old Tom John. Takes a prayer book 
out of his sleeping bag Preacher lights up a butt and he takes a drag Waiting for the last shall be first and the first shall be last In the cardboard box neath the underpass We take it to the promised land You got a hole in your belly and a gun in your hand Sleeping on the pillow of solid rock Bathing in the city's aqueduct The highway is a light tonight Ain't nobody kidding nobody about where it goes. Sitting down here in the campfire light, waiting on the ghost of old Tom John. Tom said, Ma, wherever there's a cop beating on a guy, where a hungry newborn baby cry, fight against the blood of hatred in the air. Just look for me, Ma, and I'll be there. Somebody fight for a place to stand or a decent job and a helping hand or someone struggling to be free well just look in their eyes my you'll see me Ain't nobody kidding nobody about where you go Sitting down here in this campfire My friend, we're with the ghost of old Tom John